Hello everyone, this is Father the Everchosen, back in Total War Warhammer 2, bringing you episode 2 of our Golden Order campaign. When uh, last we had left off, we had just confederated with Averland. We got Marius over here, walking around with uh, Mother's Ruin now. We've got Carrick Hearn under our belt, Migdal Vungelbrock, and Fort Sol. We're losing quite a bit of money right now, though. Um, so we're going to have to go and look and see what will be the best course of action for us. We're going to repair Grenstadt. But outside of that, it looks like we're going to have to start getting rid of some of these troops. Let's get rid of all the pistoliers for Ubel Alderman. That helped a little. We're going to keep him with all of his experienced archers for now. And we'll get rid of all of his regular spears. Man, this doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's combine these, see what we can get rid of. Okay, it seems like lower experience is on that side. Boot these guys are closer. Merge yet again. Of course, those archers. All right, let's grab all of those. Disband. Disband. Ah. Close. All right, maybe. Okay, we're not going to repair Grenstead just so we don't go into the negative. I am ready. Are you? And I think that's going to be where we leave our funding. So we'll still have a little bit. We're going to try to take out Gallic Blood Gorge here pretty soon. The moot is going to actually like start generating us funding next turn. So we should be looking a little better next turn. But, just like I said last episode, we should be doing about 10-ish turns. This one may go a little bit longer just so that I, I try to keep them at a, a reasonable time frame. Uh, I don't want anything that's crazy long, but I also don't want things that you sit down to watch and it's like, oh, I watched that for 30 minutes and nothing happened. So at max, we started at turn 17. We might go to turn 30. So, looking around, we're going to lose money yet again. Why are we losing so much money? Is it just because of the armies? It must be. 44, 800, 914... And it doesn't matter, one way or the other. Yeah, I think it's just that we're just not making the money that we need to. Which is unfortunate. We're going to need to get in here into Schwarzhofen. What is its garrison like? Not crazy strong. But these two armies now aren't going to be... As good. So let's take Ubel and Siege Schwarzhofen in circle. And then we're going to take Marius and attack Bruno Poffbox. Okay, he's there now. And I can march Balthazar just over. And now we can just take Schwarzhofen. We're just going to auto-resolve that real quick. And... Yeah, we'll loot and occupy. Got access to a bunch of stuff. Oh my goodness. We'll have to, we're we're going to sit down and look through some of that. So, equipment gained. Entertainer. Scroll of Stone. The Assault of Stone is really good. Uh, if you watch any of my multiplayer, I bring that on the River Troll Hag. 
students really good the 10 percent research rate after the student we got the initiate which will be nice and the tomb robber so pretty good things overall let's get marius here uh hard to hit and scar veteran ubel oh ubel what can i give you we're gonna give you fervent to start decreasing the corruption and balthazar I'm going to wait two more turns for that. Let's grab... What's his army look like? A lot of ranged. So we'll grab sharpshooter and... Fervent. And then we're going to go to Marius. Do we not have anything that we could give him? Apparently not. Nothing. Alright. Bluebell. Alright. So Schwarzhofen here is going to not make us any money just yet. We're going to need it to start making us money. So we'll get the Weaving House. We'll rebuild this. We will rebuild Grenstadt. And next turn we'll start with what is that? 17 gold? Seems seems perfect. Seems good to me. Do not waste my and I think Bruno Puffbach is the only thing left for um, Vlad's uh, we'll grab assembly line for the industry building increase because these are all industry. Um, that'll wipe out um, the Von Karstein faction, which would be nice. All right, honor zone. Um, nobody died, <laughs> but. We did gain some good things there. You'll see in just a moment. Uh, refuse. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to stop Austlin. Electric Count, Electric Count Valmir von Raukov has brazenly announced the secession of Austlin from the Empire, declaring the state's total independence. You can oppose Austin's independence with military action and declare war, or alternatively, you can use your political power to gather support and stop their succession without bloodshed. We're going to stop it without bloodshed. Alright. I like going through those a little more closely. So, equipment gain. we got the peasant income from all buildings, 1% in the local region. Um, it's not crazy good you know if your province is making a thousand gold it's gonna bring ten more gold <laughs> grave robber plus four when fighting vampire counts which will be good because we're fighting vampires right now potion of strength is always a good one talisman of endurance and the helm of discord are both good agitators not crazy vampire hunter will be really helpful because um that wind of magic and the research rate are static. Pillar of Order, really good for Maternus, and Strict is pretty good. Strict turns into the Pillar of Order. All right, so looking around, Marius, you're going to grab the Talisman of Endurance. Hmm, that's fine. I'll just leave you with that. Marius is going to head back to the Moot. And Gelt, where are we going to have, there, Gelt's going to run over the river, because we're going to have a rebellion somewhere either near Longobarok or Karakirin, let's take a peek, alright, so. Sterland, you don't want to trade. 
Listen, Lynn, you don't want to trade. I'm not even going to try with the Border Princess. They're always stingy. Which doesn't make any sense. They should be the ones who want to trade more than anybody. Save for maybe um, Marion Bird. Alright, Fervent. And... Empire's Finest. So the corruption's dropping at 6%, which is really good. I really have nothing to do. I, I can't do anything about the low funds. Maternus is going to head to Fildorf. So if there's a rebellion here in Karakirn. And that's probably the best that I can hope for right now. We're going to need to start cleaning up some of our provinces. We're not at war with anybody right this second, as far as I know. Uh, the Vampire Council definitely try to go to war with us. And I'm going to want um, Sylvania before... All right. Yep, right here. Vorgaz Eye Gouger. Borges. Move Maternus all the way to here. And now we're just going to start losing money hand over fist. Yes, my lord. Mm. We'll marry us to here. Oh, no, nope, there's Manfred. So we're not going to take Needling. Uh, we'll head back to the moot. Schwarzhofen's going to rebel, but we'll just stop taxing it for right this moment. Let Ubel take control over there. Where would be the best place to send Gelt? Gelt can go to Abraham. That's going to be the best place for him. Get you in the moot. And our money situation is only going to get worse here. We really need to start trading with Sterling. I don't know why they don't want to trade with us. It doesn't make any sense to me. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, our money's not going to go up from here. The only thing that I could do at this point is disband one of my armies, but I really can't afford to right this second. So we'll just take the, uh, the attrition for yet another turn. Hopefully I can turn something around. If I can get Gelt and Marius both. Really? <laughs> Thanks for proving me wrong, Border Princes. Normally I can never get the Border Princes to agree to uh, trade. Yep, 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 yep. I know, I know. Borges, I gouger. Now he's at a point where I probably can't take him on. Uh, I have no idea what his army looks like, but this army is just not going to be strong enough. I'm going to need two. Manfred. I think... I think the lot of them could take him. Let's see. Sterling. Really? You're not going to give me... You're you're about to die. Fine, I'm just going to have to piss him off. Alright. You go all the way to there. Marius, you're going to have to lead the attack. Gelt, you run to there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Against Manfred. Um, you know, I'm just going to auto-resolve this one. I know that's boring to watch, but... Pick up the pace. Isn't too much better. Trickster's Helm. Armor of Fortune. Talisman of Endurance. Yes. A bunch of good items. We're not losing... Money hand over fist anymore. 
All right. Iron Disciplinarian. Irreprehensible. Marius. Let's grab Route Marcher and Fervent for you as well. We'll just start tearing through the vampiric corruption as quick as we can. All right, Armor of Fortune. Uh, the Trickster's Helm is much better. Let's look at Ubel. He can grab the Armor of Fortune. That should be fine for him. Helm of Discord's fine for him. Okay, Talisman of Endurance. Talisman of Protection. That's fine. Ubel is not the uh, the most important one. All right, that should be good there. I'll put you. You guys will start regaining, losing money there. We're going to head up to Needling next. I think that'll be the best place to go. Castle Templehof. Maybe we'll go to Castle Templehof with Balthazar. I don't know. We'll see next turn. If we can take Templehof, that'll be good. Because it will start generating a lot of money for us. Needling can stay like that. That's fine. I don't care enough. Yeah, we'll probably just take everybody over that way. Good thing I went into the defensive. The plus five leadership and melee defense will be helpful. This army isn't crazy powerful. The grudge thrower is the only thing I'm really concerned about. I don't have anything fast to go take it out. And everybody else I'm kind of going to need. Yeah. Unfortunately. Let's deploy like this. Um, no, don't do that. Alright, we're going to put one of the crossbows up here. One of the crossbows over here. Nah, they're not going to have good enough sight line, I don't think. Archers can go right behind. And Maternus is going to have to stay here. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this is about the best I can hope for. That rock lobber is going to have to come forward. Yeah, I just don't have the means to go and take it out. Not like I would want to. Mm, pause. Okay. Actually, we're going to do this. I might be fast enough. Let's put our... Come on. Come on. Spears there. Swords in the middle. Come on, Spears. Spears there. Crossbows. And then our two archers can be up in there. And there we go. Move everybody forward so they'll be moving. They're a harder target to hit, but unfortunately they'll clump up here for a little bit. Okay, we're going to move Maternus. Start shooting. Alright. Maternus is in now. Alright, archers shoot at... Screw it. Everybody shoot at the general. Rock lobbers hitting us. 
God, he is not dying. Okay. He's just not taking like any damage. Screw it then. Everybody fire at the savage orcs. Should be alright to hold here. The savage orcs will start dying. Their wolf riders are already gone. 56 kills. So that's going to be the problem. Alright, Maternus. Fight. Fight the goblin. If the goblin wants to play, play. Alright, try to keep things going if you can. Just stay in there for now. Alright, come on. Take out the Savage Orcs. Once the Savage Orcs go, they won't have the Archer support. Okay. And then I can start shifting targets yet again. Fire at the Wolves. It I mean, slowly but surely, we're moving back to where we want to be. And we'll keep firing there. We're going to get the Helm of Discord dropping here again in a second. Trigger him. All right, Helm of Discord going down. That's that that <laughs> melee defense and melee attack debuff is just brutal. All right, let's start shooting at some of these higher value targets. The the cavalry really needs to get taken out. McTurnus in here. He's doing he's doing the best he can. Right. Broken. Broken. Alright. Yeah, no. They want to start shooting at more valuable targets. Alright. There's a chance. Not a high one, but a chance. Alright. Let's start getting the cavalry gone. No, you shoot at these ones. Ah, spears have collapsed on this side, which is not good. Alright, everybody's shooting at those go goblin wolf riders. They're wavering. Another volley and they'll break, I'm hoping. Come on, fire. Just, just shoot. Gosh darn ya. Yeah, their archers are back. Okay, if we can get our crossbows to shoot there, our archers. With the crossbows, archers start shooting at some of the other cavalry. Maternus, there we go. Another debuff dropping. Eh. Spears, get back in here as quickly as you can. It's not looking good. It's, it's very much so not looking good. Alright, archers. Fire at these goblin wolf riders. It's this goblobber. Or the not goblobber. Goblin rock lobber. That that really screwed us out of this. Alright, drop back. Come on. You guys are fine. Your lord's still alive. God damn it. Just turn around and fire. You're going to route here in a second anyway. Unfortunately. Spin around. Come on, come on. Okay, reform the line. Okay, it's out. It, of course, it's out of ammunition and everybody breaks. Ugh. God damn. 
They lost 639. I lost 456. Ugh. Yeah, without this Goblin Rock Lover, I would have been fine. But that Rock Lover, I mean, I just, there wasn't anything I could think to do to take it out. Hmm. Luckily, most of his army routed, and I don't. I he had he had his full movement, so I think he should be able to retreat from this. Um. Not that he has a lot of troops left or anything, but. Ugh. Would have been nice to pull that one out. Yeah, I lost one one troop. All right, Schwarzhofen's going to fall to Zelig Mondrak. Whatever. Forgas goes back to the mountains. Ah, uh, this is not good. Hmm. Hawkland has come under attack from Greenskins in the region of Brass Keep. You are and are appealing to you for military assistance. Will you come to their defense and join them in battle, or will you leave them to fight their attackers alone? I don't, I, you know, I don't, I, I'm just going to do nothing. I don't have the ability to do anything else, <laughs> unfortunately for them. Borges. Put him up on a war horse. And... Put him, give him some more. Actually, wait. War horse brass lung. Now I might be able to beat that. True servant of Sigma. Hmm. Cause he's gonna replenish. I'm gonna move a little closer to Fildorf, go into the encamp stance. So Fildorf would would reinforce me if I got into a fight. If we could get Templehof to fall. That would be good. Okay, Balthazar. Move the Castle Temple off. Continue the siege. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to see what the garrison looked like. Stop doing that. It's a vampire, a bunch of crypt ghouls, some zombies, and bats. Not, not anything crazy powerful. Marius and Ubel. Hmm. Unfortunately, who... Do you have the reduced... You don't seem to be taking a lot. Vampire Hunter, Attrition, Attrition. Okay, so Marius seems to be in a better position. Okay, so you, you don't look like you're really taking that much. We'll move you back to the Moot. So the Moot's not going to rebel. Abraham has quite a few turns before it will rebel. Uh, same with Fildorf. Castle Templehof is now being besieged. And I've got a better than average chance of taking it. A way better than average chance. If we take Castle Templehof, we'll have access to their heartlands. You know, Eschen and Baldenhof. I'm at war with Ostermark. Can I make peace with Ostermark, perhaps? Ostermark. My hand hovers close to my blade. Utter your demand before I raise it. Okay, you know what? Wolfram, calm down. <laughs> Alright, we're at peace now. Much better. Don't have to worry about them coming and stabbing me. So really Nadling is the 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 place that's gonna have my biggest concern. All right, end the turn. Our research will be done. We'll be making a little bit more money. I think it's 10% more on industry buildings, so I think we'll make at least 75-ish more. Okay, we will fight this one. Let's jump in. With Balthazar's magic, I think we should be fine. He... Ulrich Morfin won't have a lot of... Magic. I'm on the other side of a rim, like a swampy area too, so they're gonna be slowed in that. I 
I think I should be fine. I'm going to have those Outriders probably take out the dogs first. Where's my, and my reinforcement? Oh, excuse me. My reinforcements are going to come directly behind me. Shallow water. Yeah. All right. Put our guns right in front. Um, actually, we'll do it more like this. We'll have these guys there. Is Balthazar on foot? Yeah. Okay. And we'll move our great swords off to this side. Start. Start. Alright. Bluebell. You're gonna die. Alright, let's get our spears. We'll move these guys up. Archers behind these guys up. And I think that's everything from Marius's army. So we're going to want the pistol ears coming this way. Um, if you can shoot at the bats and get them out of the sky, one or two volleys should be enough. And there's one. Fire one again. Nope. Start moving. Start moving towards our troops. Go and assist them. You attacked me, dude. You gotta come towards me. Alright. Let's break off. Oh. Alright. All right, these bats are pretty screwed. They're they got caught too far out. Good, they're crumbling and they're gone. All right, you guys fire at the next unit of bats. Come on, come on, come on! All right, they caught my outriders. Not too terribly concerned. They're not great melee combatants, and their binding's critical now. Alright, you guys focus on them. And you guys should still be moving. Alright. Alright, now we need to put you on the skirmish mode. Alright. Balthazar. Balthy. Start shooting at those purple ghouls, that'll be fine. Spin around. Alright, the kiting and the uh, ranged cavalry on this side of the uh, river have really helped thin their ranks. The dire wolves weren't like a crazy concern, but they are annoying once they get into your lines. Bats being gone is really good. Alright. Getting close to being able to use magic. All right, how'd you guys get caught? Come on, fire there. Get onto this side of the river, I guess. And these guys can stay and and keep the uh, the uh, cavalry game going. Oh, beautiful magic coming down. Killing a bunch of crypt ghouls. Alright, pistol ears. Yeah, just keep shooting at the crypt ghouls. I think that's the best. Seriously? Alright. Our ranged combatants will start shooting here pretty soon. Marius is poised to help. Single target. All right. Outriders. I do want you guys still to be able to move when need be. But at this point, they're just in the line of fire. 
and they decided well actually they can't walk through this middle part but this part right here is ultra deadly and they're just gonna drop you start shooting at them all right don't need you guys to run away shoot the crypt ghouls all right we're doing good everything's still pretty solid all right all the range combatants that can fire on her shooter all right marius you can get involved yeah start shooting at those rear guard probably the, the best choice you have Start moving that way. Start moving that way. Shoot. Marius. Alright, there we go. Amberlin Runefang going off. Some more magic. Shooting, please. We await your orders. Quickly! Alright. Get a little more magic going. You can fight her. Keep fighting. Graveguard are doing way better than I want them to. Which is not going to be good for me in the long run, but. Alright. Bounce powers firmly in my favor. You shoot at her. Commit yourselves. Skeleton work. All right. At this point, we're good. They're all dead. And since they're all dead, Templehof is ours. With minimal losses. A close victory. How many did I lose? A hundred? No, 200 and 230, no, 229 men lost. Not bad, though, compared to the, you know, what, they deployed 1,682, and I deployed 1,224. Yeah, 1224, 682, 229. I don't know why I always do the math. It tells me here. <laughs> All right. Occupy Castle Templehof is ours. Start making a little bit of money. We gain timber resource. That'll increase our trade. All right. We're going to do nothing. Assembly line went up, so we're making some money. All right, bunch of things. Kerakirn doesn't have a great anything, but I can run. Unfortunately, if I run though, I need to get to fifty. I'll move all the way up, and that should be fine. I could still... I could get an Eldred's Guard. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd like that. Alright, Marius. What can I give you? I'm going to give you Fervent. Yeah, just give you Fervent. I mean, you're going to be fighting vampires for a while. Guilt. Hmm. Yeah, I really need to get up to Quartermaster, like, quick. So we're going to start regenerating really, really well. Mm, these stables aren't bad. We're going to make some money from timber. <sighs> I'm going to I'm gonna demolish the stables. I don't need them. Not really. I don't, I'm not going to use the Pistoliers right now, anyway. Um... Search the ruins. Hopefully we can get some money or something. 
I do have the Dial of the Old Ones complete, uh, so it's going to be Claw Daddy, Butt Plug, and Son. Claw Daddy, Butt Plug, and Son. Channeling Staff and a Thousand. Perfect. Actually, yeah, no, just go to the moon. Anything I can give anybody. Grave Robber. Not bad. All right. I think we're good there. We'll start heading towards the inner portions of the vampire lands. God, look at Castle Dragonhoff there. We will definitely try to fight there. Uh, Zufbar. Can we be friends? Why are you guys, like, all so silly? We're fighting the same people. Alright, research. Research rate. Get capacity. Income from industry. Construction. That might not be terrible. Income from settlement buildings, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll go up to Colonial Factors. That'll be 12 turns from now. But we'll start getting more money from all of our settlements. And more money from trade. We do have to kind of lightning war this against the vampires. Um, otherwise, they'll just send stacks of zombies and skeleton warriors against us, which not that they're crazy strong, they're just you know they'll just whittle us away ooh Fort Oberstar fell yes, my mm. I would rather have move. Fort Oberstar but I definitely would rather search it first Alright, we've got blue this time, which is Claw Daddy, Rainbow, and Weird Dino. Claw Daddy, Rainbow, and Weird Dino. Jailer and a Thousand. Marius. Fort Oberstyre. Meh. Alright, Marius, you just stay there for right this second. Castle Templehof can... Probably get us some more money. I think that'll be the best bet. Yeah, we'll grab some more money. Balthazar, I'll leave him there for another turn. Yeah, one more turn. I'll grab the Death Jacks. Um, Wilhelm von Messinghoff. He's a level one. Eschen. Doesn't have a crazy garrison. It might be better to take him out now. Even without the support. Gelt's at full health. I've got those death jacks. I've got good outriders. Mm, he's just got fell bats. The only problem is, is that his lord is going to be next to impossible for Gelt to take out. Gelt's just not a combat anything. Alright, the moot. What can I get here? I can upgrade it. Hmm. Mm, there's so much stuff. I need. I need. I need money, like now. <laughs> All right, Mubel, you stay there. We'll just end the turn. We turn 25. Wilhelm's recruiting. I need an empire captain, and like soon, or a, or a warrior priest, so that I can put somebody with Balthazar who can take those melee fights. I mean, I probably have Marius reinforced for a, a while now, but... Okay, he looks like the vampires are leaving the area of Nadling. I'd like to take it and give it back to Workbad, because then I think that gives me an it might give me an Imperial Authority. Either that or it'll give me some prestige. Yes. Either way, it'll give me something that I can Sigma use. 
And Nadling doesn't have a crazy strong garrison. We will need Ubel, though. All right. Now, I don't know why he didn't attack me. Ooh, a banner. Let's look at the banner. Hopefully it's not the Scarecrow banner. <laughs> That's the only thing. The Scarecrow banner is terrible. It does. It needs to, like, be reworked completely. Magic resistance and physical resistance for a sign unit. We'll give it to uh, Eldred's Guard. Um, Yeah, we'll pardon the captains. We need the money. Captives. We need the money. Income from trade. Perfect. Um, we'll leave you and Carrick here for like maybe a turn. Ooh, Grand Hammer of Sigmar. All right, this guy is going to start being a really deadly general to have. We're going to probably keep him back around here. We're going to try to get the public order back under control. Um, I don't necessarily mind if things rebel, if I can take him out right away. They rebel, take him out, I get some experience. Maternus just needs a little bit stronger of an army for me to feel comfortable doing that. All right, we're going to start making money here pretty fast. Again, is it worth it to come and take Eshin? I just don't think that I can take out the Vampire of Death and the Lord. I mean, I've got plenty of ranged, which will help out. I'm going to go one more turn. Take Needling, as long as they don't double back to it. Give it back to Sterland. They didn't double back. And with giving it back, I'll get at least prestige. I know that. All right. Hmm. War fervor. We need that. It is time. Oh, really? Yes. I forgot that you can't go through the woods here. What does the Emperor bid? Hmm, we can raid though. Let's take that step and start raiding. And Ubel. Hmm, the mood will be fine. Even if not, I don't really care that much. Get a little bit of money, we'll get Needling next turn. That army might be able to be taken by these two men. Only because the generals are both pretty powerful and uh, Mother's Ruins, just a good weapon. Next turn, we'll probably end it. Yeah, we'll probably end next turn. He's still recruiting. I'm assuming he's just recruiting low-level troops. If he's not, if he's recruiting things like Temple Guard, I definitely can't. Mm, let's take a little walk over and see if I can see. He might, or Grave Guard, not Temple Guard. He's not a lizard man. Nah, we're just going to stay here. Oh, no, we're going to go to 30. That's what I had said. Yeah, we'll go to 30. I think that, that'll be a nice rounding out. Okay, so we'll take, we'll be able to take Nadling. For some reason, he's just, like, pushing farther and farther north. Just de declared war against Hawkland. All right. Um, war fervor. We're gonna get. Man, it doesn't stack though. All right. Get the Nadling. Circle. Ubo. Get over there. All right. If I leave. Well, if I stay in the province, it'll go down again. Fildorf's going to rebel next turn. And there's nothing I can really do about that. Um, yeah, we'll grab the Noble Sons Abroad. We could definitely use those. What are you guys doing? Border princes. Are we deteriorating? Why are we deteriorating? Are you going to attack me? We have a trade agreement going. There's plenty of other things to focus south. Oh, wow. <laughs> the dwarves are at war with them, it looks like. Alright. 
Marius. Yeah, we'll fight this real quick. It's not going to be anything crazy special, but we will fight it. We'll take our pistoliers, take out the bats. I actually, I, I do like this map, Battle of the Shrine of Bill Omen. It's, it's like the Sigmar map, but the middle actually isn't just all woods. Not that that battle map's bad, I just fought it at like friggin' eight times in a row and I get tired of it. Alright, archers set up right here. Pistoliers get in the middle. Start battle. Alright, you guys can advance. Mm, we'll just start pulling up our troops. Nope, not that. I don't know why you did that. All right, and that should be good. Let's start shooting at the fell bats. Speed of 90, fell bats are 110. Hey, hey, hey. All right, start listening to me. You should be able to fire the whole time you're moving, though. Cut that way. Mm. Alright, stop. I thought I got chase. Alright. Those fell bats are done. Alright, we'll set up back here. Just finish them off, I guess. That should pretty much do them in. As they slowly approach, my army's now totally in position. I've got these archers on an elevated position, which will be good for them. Oh, come on. Just charge into the back of them. All right, they're done. Switch off melee mode. And at this point, they're really, I mean, to begin with, there wasn't anything that could really threaten me, but... Mm, let's see if we can move this way. Keep going that way, and you go this way. We need to start shooting at the bats, though. The bats I really want gone. That's what I care about right this second. Marius should be fine. We got 1,500 hit points still. All right, and we'll just fast forward it. Keep moving. Keep moving. What? All right. You guys fire at those zombies. You guys fire at the crypt ghouls. Spirit leech on Ubel. Not the target I would have picked, but probably why I'm not a vampire. Alright. Both of you guys get in there and debuff and buff. Man, these two guys in there will make short work of her. She's got 20 melee attack, 250 weapon strength. Play. Quick march. Formation march. The Empire endures. Shoot. Sir. Yes, General. For the Emperor. Hmm. They're fighting. Tag teaming her. She's not doing good. <laughs> She's dead. And that's it. All right, I ended up losing what? 28 men. Not bad. Not bad at all. So Nadling is ours. We're going to return it. That'll increase our relations, I know. 
with Sterling. Hopefully that'll let them make a little bit more money. And maybe they'll be able to keep the vampire counts north. Return to Elector. Fealty of the Elector count increases. That's it. Stick to it. Apprentice Wizard, not crazy good for Marius because he can't cast spells. Alright. Ubo. Run back towards the moot. Marius. Run back this way. And we're going to need him just like everybody else we need to get up to quartermaster as quickly as we can all right so we're gonna go back into the negative uh, income from settlement buildings 10 percent so that'll give us six from that or six from that six from that so that's 12. man yeah, we'll get we'll get some money few more turns. The Rebellion has come in Solund. Marius is going to go back and help Gelt out. Ubel is going to prevent... I might have to move him back to Abraham. Than gold. Or so they tell me. Alright. So we've got a non-aggression pact. Friendship is more valuable than gold. Military alliance with Carrick Hearn. I will go for that. I will indeed go for that. Okay. Historically, the region of Krugenheim has been ruled over by Telebeckland, but is currently under the control of the Elector Count of another state. Helmut Feuerbach, the rightful Elector Count of Telebeckland, has asked for your help in restoring his rule over his land immediately. Sterling is at 5, Telebeckland's at 7. So I could get them both to be at a 6. Or I can move Telebeckland up farther. Uh, we're gonna... Krugenheim will be returned. To... Hmm. That'll undo basically everything I did with Sterling. That's fine. Hmm. Casualty replenishment rate's going down. But with Krugenheim back under their control, they're gonna be able to focus here on Kappelberg a little better. Oh, my Imperial Authority went back to zero. Instead of one. Or negative one. We need to get back up into the positives, though. Alright. You move to there. Abraham still has some time. Can I just walk you there? Yeah. Alright. You're there. We got knife here. All right, he doesn't have anything. We'll just auto resolve that. Release the captives so that we can get some moolah. Face bastion. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna keep that. We don't need to get to benediction just yet. We're gonna take hold the line. Take knife out yet again. I only lost one that time. Again, pardon the captives. Abductor. Ransom captives after battle multiple times. So upkeep for all units. Rating increase post-battle. Alright. That's good. Alright. We're doing, we're doing good. We're doing a good. Part of me wants to give Migdal Vongelbarak and Karak Hirn to... Um, Character, but that would cut into my money. <laughs> I don't think, and I don't think I get money for it. Yeah, purchase gift. Yeah, no. All right, we got money. They've got a decent sized army. Okay, golden face mask. So, either plus army, plus missile strength. Hmm. Hmm. 
I think new formula is probably going to be the best thing to get. But we're going to hold for just a sec. So, Death Jacks are at 52 missile strength. Yes. And now with... And 26 missiles. So, with that going up, nothing changed. Hmm... And I didn't look at anything else. I probably should have. You me. Now? All right. We should be able to get everybody at Ashen next turn. Albrecht, help Anderson. Okay. Can we, Sterling? Can we get some trade and some military access? Oh my goodness. Okay. So that's going to give us money. We're in the positive. We're making four gold. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been happier to make four gold in my life. Alright. Ooh, wait. Was there anybody else that I could make a non-aggression pact with? Yeah, Zufbar. Non-aggression pact. Yes, good. Okay. That's good. So we're making money from Sterling now. We have uh, military access, so that's only going to improve our relations with them. Beligar, hey, do we have a non-aggression pack? Okay, well, can I get a non-aggression pack out of it? I mean, oh, we already have one. Do we? Yeah, okay, I should have looked there. <laughs> I countered with his exact same offer and he accepted it, and I'm, I'm shocked. Sometimes they don't, though. Alright, Theodore Golf, sir. Yeah, sure. I'd rather not go to war with the men of the Empire and rather would just confederate with everybody. But, that doesn't always happen. So they've got Keppelberg up here. They've come back down and taken Krugheim. Now I really do need to jet over there. Fyldorf's coming back under control. Karak Heron's coming under control slowly but surely. Abraham mm, is not doing great. Hmm, I'm going to build a weaving house, get us some more money. Let us begin. Can I get Marius? Yep, Marius won't be tired. That's the key. Alright, looking at this, the Graveguard are the real problem, but my Greatswords, my Eldred's Guard should be fine to hold against them. And I'll have magic... Unfortunately, I still only have the two spells, Plague of Rust and Searing Doom. They've got some cavalry. Marius can get over here, though, and reinforce. And... It's saying that they have the better chance, which I'm not... I don't totally disagree with. But we are going to fight this. As long as the battle map isn't some crazy battle map. Okay. Boring. Standard battle map. We should be fine. I'm attacking them, but I have the ranged superiority. I'm going to want my armies to get together. Okay. So we're going to have... Sure. That'll work for now. Death Jacks in the middle of regular archers and then my crossbows. Alright, we're going to want you guys to stay tucked behind. Um, we'll put the free company militia on the ends. Outriders are going to go ahead. And as soon as uh, old Marius gets in here. 19 wins of magic is more than fine. Alright, you guys stay there. Marius, get up here with your measly forces. Alright, basically I'm just going to take my Marius spears and put them here. Marius' archers will go here. The pistoliers are really what I wanted out of his army and him himself. Even if he can't fight, that... Averlin Runefang Hex will be important to have. 
Alright, if they... Oh, they're gonna link up. That's fine. Alright, you fire at her, you fire at her. Mm, sure, fire at the green bear, I don't care. She's gonna start losing health. Alright, don't shoot at the green bear then. Shoot at the fell bats. Shoot at the fell bats. Alright, these guys will keep going this way. Fell bats are dropping. Alright. Start retreating. I want control over you. Start retreating. Okay, as soon as my army gets into position, I will wheel them about. Alright, we're going to want these guys positioned like that. Okay, basically everything but my cavalry. Oh, wow, what in the world is going on there? Okay, let's just... Okay, that's infuriating. Pause. Okay. You all need to not do that. Why are you doing that? I'm very confused. Okay. Infantry line. I need you to shift back this way. And then... All of our ranged combatants. I want you guys back here. Hmm. Garbage spears. I want you over here. Better garbage spears. Get over there. Lords here. And that should be fine for right this moment. Where is my other pistol here? Okay, he's in here. Back up. Back up. Let's turn around. Right, come on, this way. Okay, I want you guys back over here. Alright. Not doing too bad right now. A lot of his forces are dying. Left and right. He's got his black knights over here with lances and barding though, which is not good. And my cavalry's all mixed up in there with them. Okay, if you want to do that, I'm fine with that. Mm, Pistoliers come back this way. Shoot at those grave guard. Archer's Grave Guard, Crossbow, no, Grave Guard. Okay, I'm not doing terrible over here. Pistoliers, start shooting at them, start shooting at them. Anderson, fine, stay in there. I need you to back up, though. Free company, I don't want you on skirmish mode. Mm -hmm. This whole archer, bleh. God, those black knights with lances of bar deleted my... Archer, er, my, uh, my cavalry. Okay. Hit them. Alright. Marius. Alright. You need to go that way. You need to start shooting this way. Pistoliers, move. Okay. 
All right, we're doing fine. Marius is still alive. Their vampire's not doing good. Their lord's over here, though. And I definitely will need Mother's Ruin again. Before I can take them on. We really need... We need our archers positioned way better than they are. They're positioned like crap right now. That's, I guess, better. Alright. You guys need to shoot them. Nope. Get uh, away from there. Alright. Better than nothing. Keep moving. Pistoliers. Need you guys to move where I need you to move. I need you guys to move where I need you to move. Okay. Mm, nah, we're not doing terrible. Alright, Gelt, you stay there. Alright, and we won. Yes! We kept our grave guard. Or not our grave guard. God. Great swords. Oh man, 126 kills on the great swords. Our archers did really good. Outriders did really good. We almost lost one, but whew, man, it's a lot closer. 125 or 525 lost to us, but we've now taken out probably their only army back here. Hmm. Just occupy it. They've got good stuff here. Ishin. We can get Empire Knights and Halberdiers here. Oh, man. Yeah, no, let's get the wine. Alright, Castle Drakenhof has a really large garrison. It also has... The GCCM unique uh, settlement, battle map, whatever. Waldenhof is, of course, crazy well defended because it's got the Graveguard Watchtower. But we pretty well neutered them on this side. Azag is all in through there, though. Who controls this? No, Karakadrin's still alive. Which is good. Okay. Hey, hey, you want a non-aggression pay? Why not? <laughs> Though you're straight seven, like, I just took out a pretty big threat on your doorstep. Alright. So we're making almost, what? Almost 470, 469 per turn. Which is good. Start making more as soon as we get that wine. Now we're going to have to move people around and make sure that nothing is rebelling. Because Averland, I think, was the next one set to rebel. Hmm. I'll go with Angry Gods. I don't care. Okay. At a recent congregation of the Elector Counts, there is a lengthy discussion about the separation of the religious cults from matters of imperial policy. There's much polarization in the group on what is a heavily charged or a highly charged issue. Eventually an argument breaks out between the elector counts of Ostermark and Wissenland, who are on opposed sides of the argument, with both looking to you to lend your voice to their argument. You have said little about your thought on the subject until now. You feel little will come of this debate, but a leader of your standing cannot be seen to sit on the fence on matters of great import such as this. So, Wissenland is already really low. Ostermark is very low. Um, I would rather have Ostermark drop and Wissenland go up, though. So I'm going to support Wissenland. Ostermark is probably only back half in at this point, And Wissenland is my neighbor. 
and they're powerful. <laughs> I would rather have them start to look at me a little more favorably than uh, than not. The moot is going up slowly. All right. Berhard von Schwarzhofen. Blood Dragon, I believe. Yes, my lord. So All right, Marius, go back to Castle Temple off. Mm. This is going to start to look really ugly really fast, though. Because Fildor isn't doing great. You know, it's slowly going down. But Karakirin's going up. Abraham is going up really fast. The moot isn't in a great place. Okay, so if I leave the moot, it'll just go up too fast, I think. It's turn 30. I think I'll end the turn once more. And we'll see what's kind of put in our path. I've got good prestige. Maybe I can get an Imperial Authority. I don't know. Got to start reducing the corruption. <sighs> and I need Marius to be more healthy before I go and take on something like Waldenhoff. Welcome, brothers in metal, military alliance. I will take that. They want to give me 750. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to take it. I like what he says. <laughs> I can say it in any language you wish. Kozalid, Queekish, Reichspiel is an offer of peace from the Midnight Aristocracy. I suggest you take it. I will. I will take it. Because I need... The money won't be bad. I need to start getting some of these provinces a little bit more under control. Uh, Hawkland can go down and Talabeklin can go back up. Historically, the region of... Kappelberg again. Kappelberg. Alright. Fort Oberstire. Why do I need so much? Oh, the more soldiers I have, the less. And I don't have a lot of soldiers. Because hmm. I, if I get this whole province... I'd rather get Schwarzhofen first. I should have looked before I came over here. Mm, because now I'm just going to lose troops. Needlessly. Alright, run back to the move. That's fine. Alright, Maternus Suthernhof. My greatest... not Maybe not my greatest general, but one of them. Route Marcher, Iron Disciplinarian. We need him to start cracking down a little harder. Mm, move you to Abraham. Okay, Abraham's going to start getting back into our good graces. Fildorf's not doing great. Karakarn's not doing great. It doesn't give me any money. I need, I need places that give me money. All I need is money. Hmm. Mm, that might be worth it. But I would rather save it, take Schwarzhofen so that they can't come over here and take it, then take Obersteyr, start really getting the province under wraps, and then move on from there. Mm, electoral machinations. Mm, Hawkland's coming up. Hmm... Wissenland. Let's improve our relations with Wissenland. And let's improve our relations with Reichland. And improve it with Talabekland as well. Then we're going to look real quick. 
because we really need to get Wissenland to give us a trade agreement because that'll be that money is just necessary at this point besides them I don't think there's anybody else we could even trade with yeah all right well thank you all for watching I think we're gonna leave it there we've done quite a bit of work taking out mm, the von Karsteins and then moving up and taking out Castle Temple off and uh, pushing into the heart of vampire territory here we're gonna slowly whittle away at that vampiric corruption which is nice um, we made some alliances, Karakirn and the, uh, the well, whatever, Belagar's clan over here. But finally we started making money again. So we're, we're starting, everything's starting to look up. But we still have a long way to go. Um, you know, we're really close with Calabeckland. I would, I would really like to be really close with Sterland so I can get their province get some more wine, but getting Taleb, uh, Talibheim will give us access to uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun, which will be really nice to have. I would say we'll stay at peace for a little bit longer with um, with Zufbar, or not with Zufbar. We'll stay at peace with Zufbar probably forever. We'll stay at peace with the Vampire Counts for a little bit longer, but then we'll have to start looking north to Azag um, and hopefully we can get the entire empire under our control here but that's going to be all from me thank you all for watching if, uh, if you liked it leave a like down below any comments would be greatly appreciated uh, I'd love to start some dialogue between uh, myself and you all but until next time I've been Father of the Everchosen